I'm so excited, guys. We are in Joshua Tree, California. <laughs> we are here to celebrate Black women, Black women in luxury. And really just focus on ourselves for the first time in a while. Big vacation energy. <laughs> My name is Sandy Pierre, and I am the Brand Partnerships Lead at Unbothered. I'm Maya, and I'm a social strategist at Refining29 Unbothered. My name is Inaye Komonibo. I am Unbothered's culture critic, so I write about entertainment, pop culture, basically all things Black people's business. I'm Vanessa Koger, and I am a style and culture writer. One thing about it, it's hot outside. We're out here filming an episode for Weekend House and Joshua Tree. This is my first time, and I'm super excited. This is really nice. We outside, more. we outside. Seatbelts, please. Okay. Let's say a prayer, Lord, thank you for this day. We're gonna have a great time in Joshua Tree being glam and luxe, soft life. Perfect. Amen. Amen. A pretty prayer. Ooh, so the girls, you know, it's high energy, spicy, a little shade, but it's all fun. These are women that I know I can go to and I can talk to about anything. We're gonna turn up and we're gonna have fun. First road trip together. Oh my God, it's, it's been so long since we've seen each other in person. Honestly, I have never been on a road trip, so it was really good to, one, be in a car that was luxurious. It had like the leather seats, it had the good vibes, the surround sound, the bumping AC. So it was not only nice to have a car that was comfy, but it was good to have good vibes with my girls in the car. We about to, we about to go to our weekend house. Hey. We got the pool vibes, right. just so we could just relax, because we work hard, though. I was just gonna say, we deserve it. Yeah, we do deserve it. We work very, very, very hard. Soft life for me is low anxiety, high boundaries. Mm -hmm. Because one thing about it, you're not gonna violate. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you going? You have to play with me. That's what you're <laughs> not gonna do, okay? Luxury, to me, honestly, it's really just about pampering myself and living to my fullest potential. It's just like centering myself in peace. I'm all about that. Have y'all been to Joshua Tree before? Not, no, I I've haven't. never been. I'm glad that it's four black girls going to Joshua yes. Tree. Because I feel like that's yes. not necessarily the place that a lot of black people would think of like, oh, let's go. And four black dark skin mm -hmm. girls. Okay. Okay. okay, come the on. The melanin is popping. Come on, put, your melanin. Put, your, put your melanin out. Uh -uh. Hey. Put your melanin out. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, you can't do the name. No, yeah, <laughs> Two sorry. hands in the wheel. Two hands in the wheel. Yeah, not you. Not y'all see. Y'all see. You're right. Y'all see. Out of everybody in the group, Sandy is 110% always on her luxury behavior. If Sandy's not flying herself out, she's getting flued out, she's she's just that girl. And one day, I'm going to be like Big Sands. We just play some music. Yeah. Alexa, play that Unbothered playlist. Comfort is so important, especially as a New Yorker. The train is not great, but you know what's great? An accurate Integra that listens to your commands and is comfortable and makes you feel safe too when you're on the road. Shout out to me. <laughs> yes, shout out, you. You shout, out to me. shout out to me. Shout out to me. I call dibs on the biggest room. Whatever, I got the one with the nope, not until I get it first. No, no. Are you guys? <laughs> okay, okay, that's what we're gonna do. It's super important for Black women to feel like they have access to Black luxury because for a long time, they told us that we couldn't have it. <laughs> During the sound bath, I felt like it was very much storytelling. Sometimes we're very aggressive. As the lighter sounds came through, I was like, okay, I kind of like this. So I opened up a little more and was willing to receive those sounds. I don't think I've been that quiet in years. <laughs> so it was really hard for me because I am always like talking inside my head and like to other people or whatever. So it's something for me to practice being quiet by myself. Sometimes I feel guilty for just yeah. spending a day doing absolutely nothing, but it's those days where you are able to regroup and just to, you know, refresh yourself to start, you know, the week. The body will always keep score. Even if yeah. you think that you're fine, at some point you're gonna run out of steam. And I think that a sound bath or just laying down meditation, getting away yeah. from your normal surroundings can be so helpful because it can reset your body. Yeah.
So I know that we basically see each other like every week and we talk to each other every single day, but <laughs> isn't it nice to see each other outside of the virtual office? Very much yeah. so. Absolutely. Absolutely. And also too, I feel like I know you guys, but now I really feel like I know you guys traveling together and getting to really see your personality shine in person versus virtual yeah. has been a blessing. When we think about soft life, it's about living in the now. You want to take that time off of work, take that time off of work. You want to have that relationship. You want to do that thing. You want to buy that bag, like hey. enjoy your life. That's why we're here in Joshua Tree having such a good time because yeah. we deserve it. I also think it's so important for black women to claim luxury, whether that is buying designer or whether that is buying that Telfeezy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's how we perceive it individually. My favorite part about tapping into luxury on this trip has been connecting with my coworkers and just the lovely dinner that we had. Never had a chef cook for me, so I was like, ooh, yes. We were able to be real and open with each other, and I was able to learn new things about them. My love language is acts of service. I mean, that's just my general love language, but I think that checking in on your friends is so important, um, especially when you're with them on a trip or at work or anywhere, because you never know what people are going through. I was blessed enough to have a job where I was able to find people that I could call my friends, and I don't feel like that's been a consistent thing for me throughout life, so I was really thankful for that and thankful that we were able to have this moment together. Traveling changed my life and just like my viewpoint on things. I feel like being in one space, you can often get small-minded and not really understand like there is so much more outside of like your comfort zone. Time to go. Bye, house. I'm gonna miss you. Mm. Look at this view, y'all. No, I'm okay. gonna miss this view. Girl, <laughs> what about the shower? The Let's go, y'all. Okay. Seat belts, everybody. Yes, a safety belt. Definitely. First. I feel like y'all trying to shake me. No, no. no, no. <laughs> Let's get the playlist going. Yes. For Let's see. Alexa. Play that unbothered playlist. Yeah. yeah.